Miami as United's Queen of the Skies are prepared for its retirement, the company is ensuring the iconic jumbo flies away into the sunset with much fanfare. United's 747,400 called San Francisco's faux home during their last year of service. Enthusiasts at SFO are in a unique position to see the carrier jumbos off through the very end. Fleet Week is an annual celebration of U.S. Navy's historical presence in the San Francisco area that takes place during Columbus Day week festivities open with parade of ships under the Golden Gate Bridge, followed by an air show capped off with Navy's Blue Angels Precision Flying Team. United is a sponsor of the Fleet Week air show and as a consequence performs flybys with an aircraft from its fleet. This is a unique element of the San Francisco Air Show since very few air displays worldwide feature commercial aircraft performances. This year, United put the Boeing 747 in the air show display giving the jumbo a proper send-off prior to retirement. Aircraft performing, N-121 UAMS NL N-291,671,211. Unveiled a retro 1977 French ship title as an ode to United's original 747,100 livery, first worn on aircraft N-4703 UMS NL and 1,975,352 delivered in June 1970. United Air Show 1 performed high and low speed passes as well as a high performance climb at Black Exhaust and Trail Low over San Francisco Bay. Much to the delight of the Air Show audience, United holds its annual Family Day open house coincident with Fleet Week weekend at its San Francisco Technical Operations Maintenance Center. The 12th annual open house this year featured a special tribute to the Queen of Skies. United 747,400 and 121 UA wearing fresh 1970s retro 747 French ship titles made multiple passes at San Francisco's Fleet Week Air Show. SF Landmark's Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz Island provided iconic scenery for photo opportunities. And 118 UA wears 1970s 747 French ship titles as an ode to the United's first 747. United Technical Operations Maintenance Center at San Francisco. A 7879 Dreamliner and two 747s were on display. 737,800 was the object of the planetable. Expecting much interest, the airline wisely put two 747s on display for tours. An unusually long line of employees, families, retirees, and guests snaked through the maintenance center parking lot prior to the 11 a.m. opening. While there were other events to partake, when the gates opened, all rushed to line up at one of the two 747s open for tours. A separate line for the upper deck and the cockpit required at least a tow her weight. Inside, tired and battle-worn, the Queen was showing her age. Nevertheless, with three weeks remaining in scheduled service, this was saying goodbye for most attendees. They sat in the cabin, took photos, and reminisced prior to exiting the aircraft one last time. Much despised power across center business class seats on the lower deck of the 747. Caveated United Polaris first seats 1A and 1K at the nose of the 747. No seat back display for economy class passengers on the 747. Bring your own device streaming entertainment augmented fashioned overhead and bulkhead screens and armrest audio entertainment. Aircraft N-118 UAMS NLN 288,111,201 joins N-121 UA with 747 French ship retro titles. For United's final 747 commercial flight on November 7, the airline is planning a throwback flight, recreating the July 23, 1970, first 747 flight from San Francisco to Honolulu. Flight UA-747, which quickly sold out in just one hour, will feature the 1970s-inspired menu and in-flight entertainment as well as flight attendants in period uniform. As part of the retro celebration, a collection of vintage crew uniforms was on display. Perhaps these 1970s Hawaii uniforms will be used on the final Honolulu 747 flight. United is also sending the 747 on tour to its hubs in San Francisco, Los Angeles, Houston Intercontinental Washington Dulles, Newark, Chicago O'Hare, and Denver for 12 weeks starting October 12.
At each hub, lucky employees chosen by lottery get to fly on to her flights to nowhere on the 747. During these final weeks of 747 service, three SFO destinations remain on the United Jumbo Timetable London Heathrow LHR, Frankfurt Fra, and Seoul ICN. United will operate its last scheduled international flight on October 29 from ICN to SFO on flight UA-892.